The vibrant colours and peaceful nature of the celestial pearl danio makes them extremely popular in the hobby. These fish are suitable for a nano or well-planted aquarium. However, these fish can be pretty shy, so it would be better to keep them in a quiet place and provide plenty of hiding places. Celestial pearl danios are shoaling fish, with rival males sparring regularly during the day. It is not unusual to see nipped fins within a group, however, this behaviour will not usually happen to other tank mates. It would be best to keep these danios in groups of 10 or more individuals. When more significant numbers are present, the aggression will be spread throughout the group rather than single individuals. In addition, the fish will become bolder, will be more often seen and they will display much better coloration. Ideal tank mates for these fish could include similarly sized service dwelling species as well as other small cyprinids and microdivario species. However, it would be best to avoid housing them with larger or more boisterous tank mates as they will more than likely be intimidated or outcompeted for food. Celestial pearl danio should ideally be kept in a heavily planted setup with a dark substrate. Making sure you have broken lines of sight in the aquarium will allow your fish to display their natural behaviours as well as helping to reduce their skittishness. Floating plants are a helpful addition, however driftwood and dried leaves are best avoided as the tannins they release are not a characteristic of its natural waters. These fish will require gentle filtration and air-powered sponge filter would be more than adequate. Celestial pearl danios have an unusual body shape compared to other fish of the same species. In addition, there are notable differences in the colours of the males and females. The males exhibit relatively bright blue body coloration with more colour in their fins. On the other hand, females exhibit duller bluish greenish background coloration and have a yellowish tint on their bellies. In addition, both the males and the female bodies present small pearly dots. Celestial pearl danios live amongst dense vegetation in marsh areas fed by springs or in small ponds of cool high altitude wetland regions. To date, they have come across this species in a small mountainous area near Hopong east of Inle Lake in the outskirts of the Shan State in Myanmar in Southeast Asia. They have also recently been found in Thailand. Celestial pearl danios have tiny mouths, so you need to consider the size of their food. However, these fish are not fussy eaters and will happily accept high quality dried foods such as flakes, pellets and granules. It may be helpful to know that these fish tend to stay towards the middle and bottom levels of the aquarium, so dried food that sinks would be more appropriate. These danios will also readily accept live, frozen or freeze-dried foods such as daphnia and bloodworm, which will help keep their colours vibrant. It is relatively straightforward to differentiate between male and female celestial pearl danios. The males are thinner and more often vibrantly coloured and have a more orangey chest and the tail end of their bodies tend to be higher. In contrast, females are slightly duller and have a more rounded body shape. Celestial pearl danios are an egg scattering spawner that exhibit no parental care. However, if your fish are in good health, they will spawn often, and in a densely planted established aquarium, small numbers of fry may start to appear without intervention. If you would like to increase the yield of fry, a slightly more controlled approach will be required. You can still condition an adult group together, however you should also set up one or two smaller containers and fill them with mature water and some fine leaf plants or spawning mops.